Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this video tutorial session, we are going to install Docker on macOS. Let's begin. Open your favorite browser and type Docker download for macOS in the search bar. Press enter. Then you will see some results. So you have to open this one in new tab. Once you see this page, you will find this is the Docker official download page and this is the trustworthy place to download the Docker, right? When you see on the on this page, we have the option for those who have the Mac Apple Silicon based PC, then they can proceed with the first option and those who have the Intel chip based Mac, then proceed with the second one, right? So I have the Apple Silicon chip M2 Mac mini. So I'm going to proceed with this option. Just click on it. So once you click on it, you will see the downloading is started. We have to wait for the complete downloading. Okay, once the downloading is finished, we will go inside the download folder and we will find one DMG file here. We have to simply double click on it. Once you double click, you will find this message. We are getting this because we have not downloaded this DMG file from the App Store. That's why Mac operating system showing us this warning. We have to go at the Apple icon, click on the system settings, then come here in the privacy and the security section. On the right hand side, just scroll down and come to the security section. Here you can see the message. Docker DMG is blocked. Now click on this button open anyway. When you see this pop up, just enter the Mac password and click on this modify settings, right? Again, you will see one pop up, click open. After that, you will see this window. So the instructions are very clear. We have to drag and drop this Docker application into applications folder. Once you do it, you can see this progress bar and the Docker application copying process started, okay? In few seconds, this will be completed. Now we will move inside the applications folder. So you can go from this place, also you can find this through the finder. Right now we are in the in applications folder. Here we have this Docker application icon. We have to simply double click on it. Once you do it, again, you will see a warning message from the Mac, right? So again, we have to repeat the same process. Now click on this OK button and then go to again, the privacy and security option. On the right hand side, come at the security section, click on this button, open anyway, give the password and click on this modify settings button. Right, again, you will see one pop-up box, click open. And then you will see on the top right hand side the docker icon right so process is started and once we accept this terms and service agreement the setup process will be completed so you will see this welcome screen also we have this big blue button if you want to read the terms and agreement or service agreement conditions you can simply click on this link and read it right and after that simply click on this accept button and then you will see the second window here we have to select the first radio button use recommended settings right which is for the password with the help of password we can log in now again give the mac password click ok and you will see the docker desktop home screen so at this place we have to sign up first if we don't have any docker account so we are performing this activity first time on our mac mini so we have to sign up simply click on this sign up button and you will be redirected to this page so this process is very straightforward we can simply create an account by providing the email id username and password 
and we simply click on this sign up button then you will receive one email on your given email id so please click on the verification link and verify your account then come back and then use user id and password and login inside the docker account once you do it you will see this message and you will be logged in inside the docker desktop the very first screen you will see is the survey screen and you can skip this one no need to fill this survey this is not mandatory there's a link at the at the bottom click on it and you are here so this is all set up now we will perform some activity on the left hand side you can see the options like container images volume build docker on the right hand side of the icon you simply click and see the status the green signal docker desktop is running we have the option to pause we have option to restart we have option to quick docker desktop right inside the docker desktop under these sections you can check if you have pulled some images that will be present here if we have some volumes that will reflect here so we now we perform one activity where we will pull image and then we will run it right so let me open the terminal first okay if you want to check the version so we have few commands like docker version if you type and hit enter you can see the version details of this docker version 26.1.4 and the other details present that everything related to the version will be displayed here with the help of this command if you want more details you can simply type docker info press enter and then you will see all the details related to the container images and this docker engine right so at this place you can see the servers containers zero running zero paused zero stop zero all the details are present h we are going to pull a docker image just type docker hub at the chrome browser and you will see the first result and open this docker hub in the new tab so you will see this kind of page at the search box simply type hello and you will see some results like hello world hello seattle right so we will fetch any one just select and then you will see new page and this is the docker official image right so this is the test image we will pull this with the help of this command you can simply copy this button and just open the terminal and simply paste this command or you can write the same command here and press enter within few second you will see this message pull complete let's do one more pull hello world with the same command docker pull the name of the image just press enter and we have to wait 2 3 seconds more and we will see the pull complete message finally and now when you go back here in the docker desktop you will find both images present here right actions also there you can run it and the status is unused because we have not run it if you want to run any image right so you have to type one more command docker run and the name of that image right this way so just press enter and then you will see this kind of message hello from docker once you see this message that means your installation is completed and everything is working fine when you come back here you can see the status this is changed now in use when you come back here in the containers section you will see the details last started is 20 seconds ago now we will do one more activity now let's run hello seattle press enter and then you will see the message again 
and uh, this is also executed successfully and when you see the images section you can see the status is changed now in use and when you see in the container section you will see one more entry with the status and uh, the last started time also updated okay if you want to uh, see how many containers you have with the help of the command you can get this information from the terminal as well so this is the very simple command so see this this time i have only one container present here okay so if if you want to see only how many containers you have so you have this direct command docker ps once you press enter you will see the docker's uh, containers details at once and uh, you want to see more details like which image associated with this container you can simply type docker ps hyphen a then press enter and you will see this kind of result that container id image name right so which image executed inside this containers this will be displayed on the terminal so guys this is the way we can install and run docker on mac os i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate and don't forget to subscribe and for now thanks for watching cool it help